We're in Solvain Restaurant, home of the Abel Skeever. Abel Skeever? Abel Skeever. Abel Skeever. <laughs> and I'm here with Jeff. Jeff, tell me, first of all, what is the Abel Skeever? Abel Skeever. <laughs> Abel Skeever. <laughs> well, it's the house specialty. They're a Danish pancake ball cooked in a special skillet. Comes from Denmark. Now, in, in Denmark, they have it at Christmas. Mm -hmm. Solvang, you can have it every day. So tell me a little bit about Solvang Restaurant. How long have you been here, and who comes in? I've had it since 1982. Matter of fact, today's my anniversary, so oh, <laughs> year number 34. Congratulations. Oh, wow. Long time. Do the regulars still come in, even though we're on a tourist street? They come in in the morning. In the morning. They do not like traffic, <laughs> which compared to the big city, we have no traffic. Sure. What are some of the other dishes you serve here? Uh, we serve the smorbro, which in Denmark, if you go, they serve on a rye thin pumpernickel. Denmark's known for their pork. Mm -hmm. And then we have the garnishes on it, and it's a nice finger sandwiches. We have the Danish hot dog, which is made with pork and veal, and they serve the fried onions on it, and also served with the Danish cucumber salad. We also have uh, medistipals, which is a Danish pork sausage. That's nice and mild. We serve the red cabbage, because that goes really well, where German is more into the sauerkraut, Denmark is more with the sweet. Wow. So I, I guess one of the questions I didn't ask you, but are you Danish yourself? I am Danish. Is that a requirement to own a restaurant in Solvang? No, I'm but, just curious. <laughs> you know, but the Danes, when they come over here, they look for the Danes. OK. What is your favorite? I always love to ask restaurateurs this. What is your favorite menu item? Oh, oh gosh. <laughs> we have a dish here called a Danish Caesar. Uh -huh. which is a Caesar salad with avocado, bacon, and olives. Mm. And, you know, it's just a really refreshing salad. Sure, sure. And your favorite dessert would be? Oh, we serve a noala berry cobbler that's no to die for, oh, yes. Wow. Because uh, in Cambria, which is just 90 minutes away, is uh, a berry, which is blackberry and raspberry combined hybrid, and so we serve an Oala Berry Cobbler, but of course, you were looking for Abel Skeever. I, I was, you surprised me that by that one, that's okay. I am curious, when was the last time you actually had an Abel Skeever? Uh, did, did I say it right that time? You're getting better. <laughs> <laughs> Probably about two months ago. Two months ago, okay. What exactly is an Abel Skeever? Abel Skeever. Uh, Abel Skeever. <laughs> Yes. We like to say they're a Danish pancake ball, but they're a little bit cakier than uh, pancake. So there is a difference, and the spice that you might taste in it is cardamom, which is very prevalent in Denmark. Can we see this be made? Absolutely. Well, let's go do that. All oh, right. my goodness, you're making me hungry here. <laughs> I'll even make them for you. All right. And I'll have one. <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> How many of these in your lifetime do you think you've eaten? Let's be honest here, Jeff. Eaten? Eaten. Like you've actually consumed oh, Abus Skibus. Well, look at my size. What? I probably <laughs> ate, probably a few thousand. A few thousand. And then I just pull it up a quarter turn. Uh-huh. Cook a little bit more. They'll start cooking faster now. How often are you turning this? How many minutes? Well, the whole process takes about seven minutes. Mm -hmm. So now I'm going to go a different direction. Oh, wow. So where did Abel Skeever, Abel Skeever, Abel Skeever? Abel Skeever. Abel Skeever come from? Well, if you want a little folklore, the Vikings, of course. Oh, yes, the you know, they were, they were really short, but <laughs> they, <laughs> They conquered, Not my mind. They, <laughs> right, they conquered the world. So the folklore is that when they were on the seas and got to land, they would make pancakes on their shields because it was dented from all the warfare. Yeah. So they had little dents in there. So when they poured the batter, <laughs> then they started being half circles. Uh-huh. So Helga must have been on the ship, and she took out her, 
her <laughs> hair piece and why don't you turn those and, things guys turn and, them and started turning them <laughs> yeah so one day a gentleman came in and i have this story on my menu and he goes that's not true the vikings had wooden shields <laughs> <laughs> so it's just folklore where they yeah, came it's from. It's folklore. <laughs> All right. How many of these, I asked you how many you've eaten in your life, how many do you think you've made in your lifetime? Well, over 34 years, I would say at least two, two million. Whoa! Just on my watch. Whoa! All and, right, so there's yours. Oh, okay. well, look at that perfectly round. Well, I've had a little experience. <laughs> All right, and there's Look at mine. That. Oh, this is good. And I'm gonna do a little oh. jam. Oh yes. Ta -da. Oh my goodness. Powdered sugar. Oh my goodness. Yum. Okay. Yum. Here's oh, just mine. Look at that. Oop, oop. Mm. Just like you remember. Oh my when you God! Were a kid. I'm gonna have to eat this more often. <laughs> Don't let two months go by. Solvain Restaurant here in Solvain. By the way, where are you located in downtown Solvain? Downtown Copenhagen. Mm. See? I'm going to have another bite. Oh my goodness. I'm going to have to have another bite. We can only get these here in California, here in Solvain. Just in Solvain. Oh my goodness. Mm. Incredible. Mm.